Hello, welcome once again to the Waters and Stanton video channel. I've got an item here which I think would follow on from my previous video about internal antenna tuners. It's a little item made by MFJ and it's an MFJ914 and it's an auto antenna extender. Interesting title. So I presume from that that it extends the auto antenna tuner in your radio. So what I thought I'd do, I'd try it out on the the radios that I tested in the previous video and just see how well it actually extends the auto antenna tuner inside your radio. So it could solve a few problems without having to purchase an external ATU. Anyway, let's give it a try and see what, uh, what I make of it. Before I start, let me just give you a close up of the uh, unit. As you can see, it's basically a, a switch box. Now, if you watched the previous video, you'll know that uh, the IC7300 wouldn't work on 40 meters with the internal ATU um, going into my doublet. I should explain if you haven't watched the previous video. I'm testing this system on a doublet. The doublet has got a 70 foot top, it's got about 50 or 60 foot 450 ohm uh, ladder line going back to a 4 to 1 ballon just outside the radio room and about um, 3 meters of coax cable coming from the ballon into the transceiver. So the transceiver is feeding into an unbalanced line coax which then goes is converted to a balanced line via the, uh, the ballon. And I can match the 7300 on four bands on was that four bands yes on 10 meters 12 meters uh, 17 meters and 20 meters when i got to the 40 meter band the internal atu on the 7300 would not match although if i turned it to the emergency position then it would match on 40 meters so the trick seems to be to adjust this switch for maximum noise it's very subtle on 40 meters let's try it there and see what happens well there we are it matches very easily indeed no problem so the unit that does seem to do the trick so in, the, in what we think is the straight through position so yes it won't it won't tune so position a is the straight through position if i turn this to the position we had it before which i think is there and we get a match so yes uh, it certainly does the job on the 40 meter band now we tried on 80 meters i'm going to switch to position a no luck position b no luck position c no luck d no luck e f and G so it won't match the 80 meter band which was um, a problem anyway but it probably is asking a little bit um, bit much for it to match um, on 80 meters particularly with the sh shorter top section and if you recall the uh, Ellicraft KX2 struggled on the 80 meter band where the best VSWR it could achieve was 3.3 to 1 now I'm not going to go through all the positions but this is position B on the uh, KX2. Let's press, press the right button. And well, we get one, virtually 1.1 1 .1 to 1. Yeah, we get 1.1 1 .1 to 1, virtually a perfect match. I should also mention that having not been able to get a match on 80 meters with the 7300, uh, I also couldn't get a match on 160 meters, which really doesn't surprise me. The only transceiver that I uh, could get a match on that I tested was the G90 and of course the KX2 doesn't cover 160 meters on transmit. So there we are. On the 7300 it certainly enables it to uh, get uh, a decent VSWR on 40 meters which I couldn't do without the MFJ914 and likewise the KX2 wouldn't really give a decent match on 80 meters at about 3.3 to 1. Uh, without this extender in. With the in extender in circuit we actually got a one-to-one -one match. So the extender certainly does do what it promises. It extends it. 
Well, it certainly extends internal antenna tuners. It's difficult to quantify how much and how well it will do, but uh, I have actually, I have to confess, I have used this before um, some while ago when I had a G5 RV and I couldn't match it on all bands and I found that with this unit in circuit it would enable me to actually match the um, uh, G5 RV on all bands so it, it did work. Um, actually before we finish this video let me just take the top off see if I can undo the case, yes I, I think I can undo the case and just uh, have a quick look inside. I couldn't really determine exactly what was inside the unit uh, because I couldn't actually get a good look at the back of the switch. I think there's some, there's obviously an inductor there with the ferrite uh, cores and I think there's some capacitors lurking behind the switch but I, I couldn't uh, really determine um, exactly what it is but I suspect there's a combination of inductance and capacitance there. So that's, that's the MFJ914, uh, an interesting little unit. Oh, by the way, I should mention that it's also got a socket on there for dummy load. There's a switch position for uh, dummy load there. So you can have this in circuit um, or switch to a dummy load. You can't actually switch it out of circuit, although I think position A is actually out of circuit. I think that's straight through. It doesn't actually show it on the front panel. But anyway, um, you can have a dummy load. So you've got the position switch there to adjust to see what is uh, the best position for your um, matching purposes. And then if you go one stage further, you can switch to a dummy load. So that's the MFJ Auto Antenna Extender, or Auto Internal Antenna Extender quite a useful little gadget. I've had this one for quite a while because I use it occasionally for things that I'm doing and it's very nice actually to be able to use the internal antenna tuner rather than to have a, an external one. It makes things tidier, more compact and uh, it just feels right. So if sometimes uh, uh, I need that I don't hesitate to, uh, to plug it in and uh, use the internal antenna tuner on the radio. Many thanks for all your emails. I get some very complimentary emails on this channel because it's all a pretty much a one-man uh, effort. And I must say that, uh, of course, we get emails from all over the world, but sometimes I don't know where they're coming from because very often they're not signed with a name, so I can't sort of say John or Paul or whatever. And sometimes I ask questions about where can I get this? Well, I, I'm not sure whether you're in the UK or you're not in the UK. So it is handy to know where you're actually um, located, um, particularly for some of these questions about where do I get this and so forth. Anyway, whatever and wherever you are, many thanks for your support on this channel. It's much appreciated. Thank you for your support uh, at our retail facility in Portsmouth. That's equally appreciated. In the meantime, enjoy your hang radio. Thanks for watching this uh, video and for uh, watching this channel on a regular basis. If you don't, then press the subscribe button. In the meantime, enjoy your ham radio, you take care, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.